Hi everyone, thanks for taking the time to look at this video. I'm just going to go through, just looking at the, the dialogue uh, 9118. I did a video about two or three weeks ago where I did a, an unboxing of it along with an R2 lead. So I thought it was about time that um, I actually did a review and just showed you guys um, a little bit about the dialogue um, functionality. So what we'll do today is we're just going to have a look at um, continuity. Uh, so I'll flip this over and then we'll start having a look at the, the functions down the um, down this side of the of the instrument for you. So let's flick it over. Flick it over into ohms and just bring it a little bit closer. You can see it's a nice bright screen actually, really bright um, and very clear, quite a big screen as well. So it's uh, very, very simple to see what's going on. Um, the F1 button on the side here at the very top, I click on that one. This just brings on a audible um, sound, audible bleep. So um, if, um, while you're doing your testing, if you get continuity, uh, it will just bleep to tell you you've got continuity there, which is handy. Uh, most multifunction testers, of course, do that anyway. Um, the F2 button here, it doesn't actually do, uh, do anything when it's switched into continuity. It comes into play on some of the other settings on the, on the tester itself. Uh, yeah, and let's, if you flick over to F3, this is actually the the null. If we move down to F4, that's an auto function. So that will just keep the test effectively on. So once you've um, pressed F4, it will constantly be checking for continuity. So that's also quite a handy function. You don't have to keep going back and um, hitting the test button all the time. So let's have a look a little bit closer. You can probably see uh, the audible bell just there, or the um, voice sounds. And you toggle that on and off by pressing F1. As I stated earlier, F2 doesn't do anything. F3 is that null function. I'll show you that in a second, actually. And F4, you'll see auto come up there. And again, you can toggle that off. So if I... If I leave this just as it is at the moment on with the audible sound, uh, click these two crop clips together. Let's put those together now. And then if we just click the test button, you can see I've got a reading there of 0 0.09 of an ohm. And you can hear the audible sound and take that off. Hit F1, it should just take it off. So when I press test again now, you'll just get the reading 0 0.09 ohms and no audible sound, which is great. Now, if I hit F3, this should just null out the leads, taking the 0 0.09 off of the instrument and taking it back to zero. There you go, here a little bleep, and now you should also see there's a little null sign. It actually, actually says null in a box there as well, so it's fairly clear, you know, you, you know you've got your leads nulled. Um, so that's perfect, and now you can carry on, uh, carry on with any tests that you, want, you might want to make. Um, so move across to F4. Like I said, earlier F4 just drops everything into auto, so this is just... Kind of like now auto testing. So click back the leads on there. You can see it's automatically gone back to zero because it nulled nulled these leads out. So you can see that this is the nulls working effectively. Okay, so what I'll do as well, perhaps in the next video, we'll have a look at um, continuity of the bonding conductors from. The consumer unit to what is effectively on here is a, just a water pipe and then we'll have a look at the the one way two way actually we've got a two way lighting circuit up here so we'll look at um, r1 r2 of the lighting circuit then we'll have a look at um, little r1 little r2 and little rn on the socket circuit and also final r1 r2s of the socket circuits as well and then later videos, we'll have a look at insulation. But as part of the continuity video, it's going to be bonding conductors, 
and R1, R2 of the lighting circuits, little R1, little Rn, little R2, and then R1, R2, finally, for the socket circuits as well. So we'll run through that in the next video. So, yeah, thanks a lot for watching. And, uh, yeah, if you like it, uh, please hit subscribe. And, um, yeah, see you on the next one. Cheers. Thanks.